Hi, I'm Archie Lentz, and I live in the Walnut corner of the great state of Indiana. And in case you don't know where that is, come to Indiana in the autumn and drive the back roads. And when you start to see walnuts on the road, you'll know you're near where I live. I'm going to talk to you tonight about the top seven Lincoln titles to get if you want to begin a Lincoln library. And please remember to like this video if you're a fan of Abraham Lincoln. I've chosen the number seven out of the tens of thousands of Lincoln titles based on this booklet by Osborne H. Olroyd. The num mystic number seven in the life of Abraham Lincoln. And you'll hear a little bit more about him as we go on. The first title that I'm going to present to you is this book here titled Lincoln, A Photographic History, written for uh, el upper elementary through middle school type of students. 150 pages, but it's just such a clear and basic statement of Lincoln's biography in 150 pages that uh, if you don't know a lot about Abraham Lincoln to begin with, this would be the very best one to begin with. The second book that I would recommend is Abraham Lincoln, The Prairie Years and the War Years by Carl Sandburg. It's a combination of a six volume set and very well condensed into one volume. The reader of this book would need to have a really good understanding of American history, so it would definitely be an adult title. But uh, Sandberg was a poet, and you get a view of Lincoln that you would not get uh, through any other scholar. And uh, I remember a passage in it where he says how important the role of silence was in Lincoln's early years for example, in Indiana. So that one is a great book to have, and you'll enjoy reading that. The third title that I've chosen here is Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. It's a selection of his uh, collected works. Uh, not all of them. That would take 12 volumes. Usually there are a lot of letters, such as the one that he wrote to Horace Greeley. So... A very essential thing. If you want to know Lincoln without any frills or interpretation, read Lincoln. And that's one of the great ones to start with. And for the fourth title, I have an original copy um, published in 1889 by Lincoln's law partner of 20 years, William H. Herndon who went to great lengths after Lincoln's assassination to interview people in Kentucky. He traveled a lot, wrote a lot of correspondence, and he put together a book based on his long and intimate uh, relationship with Lincoln. Bear in mind that he said that nobody really knew Lincoln, who was a very secretive person perfectly. But uh, it, Mary Todd Lincoln was not a fan of Lincoln's junior law partner, in these books, he uh, told the story of, or I should say legend, of the romance between Anne Rutledge and Abe Lincoln, which uh, was upsetting to her. But uh, this is an essential set of books to have. It's been republished many times. The fifth book that I recommend is Life on the Circuit with Lincoln by Henry Clay Whitney. And Everybody who knew Lincoln eventually wrote a book, and uh, this is my favorite title. It just has a good essence of who Lincoln was, and you just get a sense of uh, who he was like or what he was like, and it makes you feel like you were there actually watching him glad hand people and uh, take to the stump. So, highly recommended for the... Uh, Sixth book, I've chosen Lincoln the Man by Edgar Lee Masters, 
whom you might know as the author of Spoon River Anthology, a poet. Masters hated Lincoln with a passion. And if you're wondering why I would include that in a select list of seven, it's because these type of books that are this critical of Lincoln are relatively rare in Lincoln studies, but they give you a different view of Lincoln as some people saw him, and I think that's important to know. Um, this guy is probably sets a, a standard for hatred of Lincoln, at one point, he says that the last shot fired for states' rights was by Lincoln's assassin, and that's uh, stone cold, I would say. And yet, it is worth reading, and uh, you have to face the fact that Lincoln was not universally popular. In fact, at the time of his presidency, he was our least popular president, and it wasn't, remember, until after his assassination that people had any other view of him. And for the final selection, this uh, is a beat-up copy of a 1901 book by Oswald H. Olroyd, whose uh, little pamphlet about the magic number seven inspired me to go for seven titles. It's uh, titled The Lincoln Assassination. And uh, Old, Royd, Old Royd was a, a, a veteran of the Civil War. And what makes this book especially fascinating in the thousands of titles that uh, are about the Lincoln assassination is that Old Royd walked from the back of Ford's Theater and he followed all the roads and byways all the way to the tobacco shed where the assassin was cornered and shot and along that route he talked to many people who had not been interviewed and collected lots of information and so I consider this my favorite title about the assassination which um, is what seems to be most uh, popular topic in Lincoln's biography for the general reading public and uh, it was a conspiracy, and you'll find out about that if you read those type of titles. So those are the uh, books that uh, I would say are the top seven that you should begin your Lincoln library with. And once you begin to read about Lincoln, it's not only learning about one man's life, but the life of our nation. And it's fascinating. Finally, here is my contribution to the study of the life and times of Abraham Lincoln. It's a set of articles that I have recently written and which you can find to purchase on the link below. It is titled Uncle Archie's Lincoln, Lincoln Hated Democracy and Seven Other Lincoln Articles. I would ask you one final thing, and that is if you would let me know what other book, if you could just choose one more book to add to the seven that I have named, what other Lincoln title would you choose to add to it? Well, thank you for listening to this video, and I uh, hope you will subscribe to my channel, and have a good rest of whatever part of the day you're in right now. Thank you.